If you're looking for the best VPN for Apple TV, let me introduce you to XVPN, who's sponsoring today's video. This is a super simple, super fast VPN connection that gives you all the benefits of using a VPN, which I'll highlight more in a second. I love how easy it is to run VPN on Apple TV now, because not too long ago, it wasn't natively supported, and to use VPN on an Apple TV, you'd have to manually start messing with your network settings, and half the time it still wouldn't work. Companies love to track your behavior on all your digital devices. And I think in the near future, having a good VPN account is going to be as crucial as having your own email or phone number. A solid VPN app will secure your Wi-Fi browsing, allow you to access geo-restricted content, helps you avoid government censorship, prevents your ISP from throttling your connection, can get you better pricing when booking hotels and flights, and prevent targeted ads. There's a lot of good VPN apps out there, and I've paid for a few of them myself in the past. But here's why I like XVPN. They have an insane amount of servers and a wide selection of countries available, including some pretty uncommon ones. It's available on almost any device, and I'll show you more about that in a minute. Let me give you a quick rundown of all the different countries that are available here. You can connect to anywhere from Armenia to Estonia, Vietnam, Thailand, you name it. I don't use VPN on my Apple TV all the time, but whenever I need it, I'll jump here, pick a server, and I'm good to go. It's been really great for live sports, and I also find it extremely helpful when watching foreign TV shows and news. One thing I want to highlight is the connection speed. The thing about VPN apps is that while they're keeping your browsing secure by running your traffic through a server that's sometimes all the way across the world, this inevitably affects your browsing speeds, sometimes by a lot. I've sort of learned to live with it, but one thing that really stands out to me when using XVPN is the speed. It was noticeably faster than what I usually get, so I ran a speed test. First, I tested my speed without any VPN connections. Then I ran a test using a paid version of a competitor VPN app, connecting to Finland, which is about 6,000 miles away. Lastly, I connected to the same country using XVPN, getting download speeds that are almost 20 times faster. I'd say any VPN is better than not using a VPN at all, but if speed matters to you and you want your TV shows and sports games at the highest possible quality, this is something to pay attention to. Besides my Apple TV, I'm using this on my Mac and iPhone, and you can get it on Windows, Android, Chrome, Linux, Android TV, Amazon device, and even run your router traffic through it. Now let's do a quick demo on a Mac. The first time you launch the app, you'll get a privacy notification. And I love this thing because it tells you in very simple terms what your data will and will not be used for. A lot of companies make these types of privacy statements intentionally hard to understand, so it's refreshing to see how this is clearly made simple for the consumer and I know exactly how my data will be handled when using the app. You can either let it pick the fastest server for you, or you can manually pick a location. If you need a specific protocol, there's a lot to choose from. Or you can just leave it on the automatic setting, which has been working great for me. You can set the app to launch automatically when you start your computer, and it has this cool kill switch feature that stops all internet traffic in case your VPN connection goes down. This way, all your data will be always going through the secure VPN connection, and you won't accidentally browse without a VPN. With the way companies love to track our browsing and data, I think having a VPN is going to be as crucial as having an email account in the near future. Which is why I'm giving away a free one-month license to XVPN. Drop me a comment below, and I'll choose one random winner.